Good afternoon and welcome to the presentation of your king and queen for the prom that never was for 2020. My name is Mrs. Julie Brundage. It is my pleasure to announce the king and queen candidates for the Cory Area School District. As you know, due to COVID-19 and the regulations that have been put upon our district, the traditional prom for Cory has been canceled. However, we still want to honor our candidates and the class of 2020. Our first queen candidate of 2020 is Miss India Burkhouse. India is the daughter of Homer and Pamela Burkhouse. When asked what her most listened to song while on her morning commute, India replied, anything Juice World." When India was asked if she could bring any three of her classmates on a cross-country road trip in her family station wagon, she responded she would bring Reagan James because she needs something good to look at. Luka Saborski on Ox because she likes his music. And Maddie Bonham because she needs someone she enjoys talking to. If India could create one mandatory class for seniors, it would be a How to Change Your Tire 101 because everyone should know how to do that. India said she doesn't have three words to describe her senior year, so I'm just going to say, interesting. She will always remember the teachers that have helped her through the years and taught her what she knows. In the fall, India plans to attend Clarion University for nursing. India Burkhouse. Our first king candidate is Colin Bonner. Colin is the son of Christine and David Bonner. When asked what he listened to on his morning commute, he replied he'd either had on the classical music station, playing the Beatles, or he was playing through his library on shuffle. When choosing three friends to go on a cross-country trip in his family station wagon, Colin replied it would definitely have to be Mason, Jacob, and Tyler. Their combined energies create one of the most fun environments you can be. If Colin was to create a mandatory course for seniors, it would be double lunch, nap time. When asked what three words he would choose to describe this year, he said anti-disestablishmentarianism, clocks and oxen hilipification, and P-N-E-U-M-O-N-O-U-L-T-R-A-M-I-C-R-O-C-O-P-I-C-S I-L-I-C-O-V-A-O-L-C-A-N-O-C-O-N-I-O-S-I-S. -I 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 and if you can pronounce that, you are going to feel accomplished. The three words are long but fun, said Colin, and when you finish pronouncing them, you feel accomplished, like his senior year. Colin will always remember ripping his pants on a xylophone. How many people can say they ripped their jeans on a xylophone at school? After high school, Colin plans to attend Cannon University and major in digital media communications. Colin Bonner. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Madison Bona. She is your 2020 prom queen candidate. Madison is the daughter of Vanessa Bona. When asked which song Madison mostly listened to on her morning commute, she replied, Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Madison chose her three classmates to bring up with her on a cross-country trip as Lucas Saborski, Reagan James, and India Burkhouse because they are so fun to hang out with and always make me laugh. Madison said if she could create one course for seniors, it would be Adulting 101, which would teach students how to make correct and smart decisions in multiple situations. If she could describe her senior year with one word, she would say, unforgettable. That about wraps up everything. Madison said she will always remember the friendships and bonds she has made here at Corey. Maddie will attend Gannon University in the fall to major in nursing. Miss Madison Bona. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the next prom king candidate of 2020, Mr. Mason Reynolds. Mason is the son of Stacy Reynolds and Douglas Reynolds. When asked what song Mason mostly listened to on his morning commute this year, he replied, my mom and I always drove to school together and we would often listen to my Spotify playlist on there, I think I listened to Sultans of Swing from the Dire Straits the most. When asked which of his three classmates he would bring on a cross-country road trip, Mason said he would choose Tyler Acom, Colin Bonner and Jacob Kozak, Hayden Ice and Jacqueline Thomas. 
I know it's only supposed to be three people, but I need my full crew with me. When asked if he could create one mandatory class for seniors, he responded, I would make it a Broadway musical mandatory class because that was my favorite class this senior year, and I learned a lot from it. Mason's three words to describe this school year, he said, no soap radio. Mason said, I will always remember the time when we had a Super Smash Bros tournament and we all trapped Tyler in the attic. Mason plans to attend Mercyhurst University to become a physician's assistant. At the same time, he would like to work more on his relationships with friends in order to stay in touch. Mr. Mason Reynolds. I am delighted to introduce to you Miss Elena Wilkinson. Elena is the daughter of Kim and Kevin Wilkinson. When Elena was asked which song she listened to the most on her morning commute, she replied that she listened to One by Louis Capaldi because I love the vocals behind it. If she could bring three fellow classmates on a cross-country road trip, it would consist of Taylor because he would add entertainment, with Courtney McGuire and Caitlin Webb because they are my best friends and it would, wouldn't be a trip without them. A mandatory course she would make for the future seniors would be some type of class in the music department because music lessons also can help add a different perspective in life or even create a new hobby you never knew you would like. If Elena could use three words to describe her senior year, it would be unexpected, entertaining, and unforgettable. She will always remember when they would do little fun things in Spanish class, such as attempting to do push-ups in a certain way or watching movies in the Spanish version and deciphering what they were saying. Elena will be attending Grove City College in the fall and majoring in mechanical engineering. Miss Elena Wilkinson. I am delighted to introduce to you Mr. Reagan James as your next King candidate. Reagan is the son of Marty and Sonia James. When asked what song Reagan mostly listened to on his morning commute, he replied, he typically doesn't listen to music. He just listens to the wind outside of his car. When asked the three people he would choose for a cross-country trip, he said, Sabs, Burke, Pete. Sabs is my home site and I need him, he said. Burke is mad silly and he knows how to nap. And Pete is a Marine and he can fight anyone we meet. If Reagan could make a mandatory course for all seniors, he would make Star Wars 101. The three words Reagan chose to describe his senior year were amazing, different, and short. Reagan will always remember Coach Bailey. He will attend Penn State Barron and major in mechanical engineering. Mr. Reagan James. It is my pleasure to announce Ms. Caitlin Webb as our next queen candidate. Caitlin is the daughter of Kevin and Jill Webb. When asked what song she listened to on her morning commute, she responded, From what I remember, my brother and I listened to Chateau by Black Bear quite a few times on the way to school. If Caitlin were able to take a cross-country road trip in her family station wagon, she would choose Elena Wilkinson, Ember Steffen, and Katie Anderson because they give me the best advice and are probably better drivers than me. However, I would have to sneak in Riley McCorson as a fourth person because she always brings the last. If she could make a course that all seniors must take, Caitlin would choose money management, real life applications. Because most of us probably won't know how to file taxes or buy a house when the time comes. The three words that Caitlin chose to describe her senior year were anything but expected. The memory Caitlin will always remember is March 13th, 2020 as the last day of my high school career. Caitlin will be attending Penn State Baird in the fall to major in biology. Miss Caitlin Webb. I am pleased to introduce Mr. Taylor Willis as your next prom king candidate. Taylor is the son of Tom and Lynette Willis. When Taylor was asked what song he mostly listened to on his morning commute, he replied, I really don't have one. Taylor said if he could take three people in a station wagon across country, he would take Elena, Micah, and Mr. Woods because they are my three favorite people. If Taylor could make one course mandatory for seniors, he would choose Common Sense 101. 
Taylor's three words to describe this year would be woof, meat, and peach. Taylor's most memorable memory is when Coach Bailey's nasty, discolored tooth fell out while he was yelling at him. He will attend Mount Vernon Nazarene University to major in pastoral ministry, Mr. Taylor Willis. Your next queen candidate is Miss Courtney Perkins. Courtney is the daughter of Angela Crosby and Justin Crosby. On Courtney's morning commute, she would often listen to Hear Me Calling by Juice Grove. When Courtney was asked the three people that she would choose for a cross-country road trip, she responded, Hannah Krasinski, because she's just as weird as I am. Tanner Beyonde, because he always tells me I'm cute. And Tyler Yasko, because he's been my guy best friend since seventh grade. If Courtney could recommend one course that all seniors should take, it would be Real Life 101. Three words that Courtney chose to describe her senior year would be irritable, unpredictable, and emotional. Courtney will always remember the paper fight Tanner and her started in math class in eighth grade. This fall, she will attend IUP for interior design. Miss Courtney Perkins. I am delighted to introduce to you Lucas Saborski as your next King candidate. Lucas is the son of Bill Saborski and Margaret Saborski. Lucas' most listened to song on his morning commute would be any song by Juice World. When asked if he could bring three friends or classmates on a cross-country road trip in his family station wagon, Lucas said it would have to be Reagan James because he is prepared for anything and everything at all times. Logan Jonkis because there's never a dull moment when he's around. And Tyler Bailey. I know he's not a classmate, but he's still one of the boys, so he has to be in the car. If Lucas could create one mandatory course for future seniors, it would be budgeting to teach students how to correctly manage their money as they begin college. When Lucas described his senior year in three words, he chose eventful, enjoyable, and historic. Lucas will always remember all the time he got to spend with his best friends, his favorite teachers, and especially during basketball season. In the fall, Lucas plans to attend Penn State Barron and will have a dual major in marketing and finance. Mr. Lucas Saborski. Your last queen candidate of 2020 is Ms. Jacqueline Thomas. She is the daughter of Kevin and Kristen Thomas. Jacqueline's most listened to song on her morning commute was Crocodile Rock by Elton John. When she was asked who she would choose to take on a cross country trip, Jacqueline replied, I would choose Alexa Yoder because she has always been my best friend, Hayden Ice because we have been on trips together before and he is so much fun, and Mason Reynolds because he is always there for me. The class that Jacqueline would have all seniors take would be something along the lines of how to apply for college, scholarships, loans, and everything else you need for college and life because it can be hard to figure out on your own. Jacqueline would describe her senior year as busy, unpredictable, and wild. She said she will always remember going to school dances with all of her best friends, dancing like crazy, and having the time of their lives. Jacqueline will be attending the Honors College at Mercyhurst University and majoring in biology. Miss Jacqueline Thomas. Our last King candidate is Mr. Laban Earhart. Laban is the son of Leroy and Heidi Earhart. On Laban's morning commute, he would listen to Starlight by John Hardy. If Laban were to take a cross-country trip in his family station wagon, he replied he would take Tanner Beyonde, Tyler Yasko, and Ryan Culver. Laban said, they have all been there for me and they are the best brothers I could ask for. The mandatory course that Laban would want all seniors to take would be called The Purpose of Working. The three words that he would use to describe his senior year would be, what a day. Laban will always remember the great times he had in school with his friends and how much he will miss them. In the fall, Laban will attend Edinburgh University to get a degree in applied science to become a linesman for Penelope. Mr. Laban Earhart.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce you your 2020 prom queen, Miss Elena Wilkinson. for your 2020 prom king, Mr. Taylor Willis. Congratulations, Taylor.